It's now Mika Naika from gospelthroughwords.com. It's another beautiful Thursday. I'm excited to speak about the Word of God with you. We were supposed to get a, a little bit of a cold winter weather uh, today, but last night, it, but we, we had really, really very light uh, fall of snow, so we have been blessed. I am just going, uh, getting ready to go to work and I just missed my first train so I have to wait for my second one and hopefully um, I'll be on time at work. I just want to encourage you and tell you that our Lord God, our mighty God, He is our rock. Sometimes our heart might faint, uh, we might feel tired and weary, we might feel overwhelmed with our situations that life sends our way. But Psalm 61, verse I think 20 or 2, it says that the Lord is my rock. And when I feel faint, when I feel tired, when I feel weak, I take refuge in Him. He is my rock. Is the Lord Jesus your rock today, my brother and sister? Sometimes different things happen in our life that makes us feel weak, make, makes us feel tired, makes us feel overwhelmed, makes us feel alone. But remind yourself that your rock is the Lord Jesus, that you can hide under the rock of Jesus, that you can be safe, that you are safe and secure under the Lord Jesus, that nothing can come against you, nothing can stand against you, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. He is faithful. He is good. So my brother and sister, encourage yourself today to trust in the God who never shakes, who never fails, who will not slumber or sleep. He is watching over you. He says to you and me today, look at the sparrow in the sky. Don't I take care of them? Won't I take care of you? Sometimes life is really, really hard when difficult situations face us and we feel tired and overwhelmed and faint and we are afraid of the giants that are in front of us. But remind yourself, if God is on your side, who can be against you? But you have to be on the right side. You have to be on God's side. How can you and I be on God's side if we love Him? If we seek Him, if we honor Him, if we do what He wants us to do, we are on His team. So then, whom shall we fear? Who can be against you? Anyone, any plans of the enemy, that will be dismissed because God is faithful. So my brother and sister, whatever you might face today, maybe a health crisis, maybe financial issues, maybe stress in your workplaces, maybe stress at home, maybe troubles, maybe whatever you might pray for, maybe salvation for a loved one. Remind yourself that God is faithful. He is the rock. He is the refuge that you and I take. We will not faint. When we feel tired, when we feel weak, we run to Him because He is our stronghold. He will keep us safe. I just remember this song that comes to my mind and I like to sing it. It says, Jehovah you, I trust in you, O God. Jehovah you, I trust in you. I believe, I believe you, I trust in you. Oh Lord Jehovah, you, I trust in you. I believe, I believe you are the God of miracles. You are the God of wonder. You are the God of powerful, I believe. I believe you are the God of miracles. You are the God of wonder. You are the God of powerful, I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. Are you believing in the God 
who can perform a wonder, wonder in your life, a miracle in your life, something unexpected in your life. He is faithful, my brother and sister, over and over and over and over again. I have witnessed in my life how faithful he is, how he never lets us down, how he tell, takes us through this difficult situation to sharpen us, to make us stronger, to make us like him more. Like yesterday I spoke, to clothe ourselves with Christ. Let's clothe ourselves with Christ today. Put on the gentleness of Christ, the meekness of Christ, the love of Christ, the patience of Christ, the joy of Christ. The joy of Christ is your strength. So my brother and sister, may you have strength today to face the impossible because you have the joy of the Lord in you today. I hope this blessed you. I am going to get down and go to work now and get into the train. Hopefully it will come soon. And uh, I pray that you have a blessed week, blessed day today. Whatever you do, that God will favor you. Favor you in your workplaces. Favor you in your homes. Favor you in your communities. Favor you in all the projects you do. Favor you. Let's pray. Father God. You are our Father and we are your children. Lord, we come to you with wearing Christ. With Christ, in Christ, we come to you. So Lord, you see not our sin. Lord, you see not our weakness. Lord, you see Jesus through us. So Lord, we are your children. We are your heritage. We are your family. So Lord, we come to you with all our worries, all our difficulties, all the mountains we face, all the, all the difficult situations we have to go through. Lord, we come to you. We bring them to you. Our health issues, financial issues. Lord, physical issues, spiritual issues, mental issues. Any material issues. Anything that we have, Lord, we bring to you. Trusting our Father God who knows us, who loves us, who has the best for us planned. So God, we come to you with our worries. Help us to be patient, patient and be still and see the deliverance that you have for us. Help us to do our work well, Lord. Favor us in our workplaces. Give us wisdom that we need. Lord, you've said, ask for me wisdom and I will give you wisdom. So Lord, give us wisdom that we will know what to speak, what to say, what to do, where to stay, where to go. Lord, lead our steps. Guide us today. May we fight our battles, not with our strength, but with you, Lord. Because you've already won the victory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hasn't our God already won the battle? I sang yesterday this beautiful song. It says, It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how God has been faithful, my brother and sister. This year is special, 2024, because I'm going to be 45 years this March, and I'm going to celebrate 20 years of marriage my husband in July and I remind myself I'm working with the bank for 18 years and God has been faithful so even though there has been ups and downs in all the celebrations that I will celebrate this year I know nothing has been easy but God has been faithful God has been with us so I know that he will be with us in the future he will go before us Yesterday I took my sons for a haircut because their birthday is coming before mine and I want them to look handsome and tall as they're going to be 17 years old. Next year they're going to be adults, 18 years. So when I went to get their haircut, the, the, the person who was cutting their hair is a dear friend of ours and she said, um, you know Naomi, you, you're 45 now. When you turn 50, you will realize that you've lived 50 years and that you have only less than that to live so live every day 
do not worry live every day and we are going to live not just every day but we are going to live every day with christ then there is joy there is peace that passes all understanding even though there is life struggles that every one of us face but we know that we are living through christ so if you are 50 remind yourself that you are going to have less than that amount of years to live because nobody lives till 100 these days but remind yourself that you have eternity with christ years are just a simple passing brain through the eyes of god because he has eternity in store for you and me i am excited for eternity and i kind of wait for eternity to rest with him to reign with him to rule with him to do things with him and to worship him above all and to love him and know him fully i hope this blessed you my brother and sister if you love someone you want to know them just the way we love our christ our lord jesus we want to know him more we want to know what makes him happy what makes him joyful what pleases him and we want to live our life that way so that we please him i hope you have a wonderful day i spoke too much i'm ready to go now god bless you bye